Jesus. Remember, you can hike it, you can use a rope to get up it, you can use a hiking wheelchair. Come on, come by yourselves, bring your friend, it's up to you. Let's go. Oh, we made it. Just like Jesus always does on this mountain, today Jesus is going to tell us a bit more about God's kingdom and the way he wants the world to be set up with plenty of food and love and resources for every child of God to thrive. Today Jesus tells us about another blessing. Jesus says, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Let's all put a hand on our hearts right now. And in the bodies, our heart is the center. Our beating heart is what keeps us alive. Can you find your pulse in your neck, on your wrist, or in your chest and see how fast your heart is beating? The heart is also the center of how we live our lives. What we most want, what we need, what we feel, what we're, what's important to us is all carried in our hearts. And what we carry in our hearts is a big impact on the actions that we take and the choices that we make inside of us directs the outside of us. This is why the heart, the inside of us, is important to Jesus. It's why pure in heart will be blessed. To be pure in heart is to show love for God, your neighbor, and yourself. When your heart is pure, you want wholeness for everyone. You want to do kind things and helpful things because you love God and your neighbor. You aren't focused on what it makes you look like and what the kind of reward you're going to get. Instead, maybe you empty the dishwasher because you know that'll help the adults. Or maybe you pick up your markers and put them away and clean the house, not because it's going to get you an allowance or offer you the opportunity for more screen time. Purity of heart helps to make outward choices based on love. We show compassion for others because we know that's what we're created to do and who we're created to be. And when we do, we will see God. We will see the experience of God in the presence of the fruits of the Spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Our eyes will open to the ways that people are caring for one another and the ways we experience it in ourselves. And seeing how God is present in our lives in the midst gives us the encouragement and the hope to keep going. Before we move on to our activities, I want you to have a blessing. The blessing is something you'll receive, so put out your hands and get ready to receive this gift. I will speak a blessing to you and you're going to receive that blessing, okay? May God bless you inside.